EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 20th of December. We're looking at the Dow and this Tiger Financial News Network 10 o'clock market update. There must have been some news out here because we just had a little spike to the upside. The S&P almost went positive. The Dow is now down 45. It was down quite a bit more at 37,511. Are we about to see, oh, I don't even want to mention it, a, a red close in the Dow today? That'll be something. Anyway, the S&P right at this moment, as I said, trying to get back to positive, and it is trading down 74 cents. At 76, uh, 67, all-time high is 48.18. It's trying to get there. It's already in a leg D in the monthly chart. I'll be talking about that. I'll be talking about that in my webinar coming up at 4 o'clock for subscribers. You can join, check out the front page of TFNN. This is a perfect time to be doing something like this to look at what's moved very sharply, what hasn't moved, what has the potential to go further, and what are the lagging stocks that are now come back and maybe be leadership coming to the first uh, few weeks of January. 409.13 down three cents in the QQQ. It made an all time high. Um, yep, just a moment ago. Uh, is that an all time high? 408 is. Uh, yes, it did. And we're looking at 200.03 in the uh, iShares Russell 2000. Uh, at 200 is down 81 cents. We're looking at the gold contract. It's got a gold. Uh, has it come back a little bit? Yes, down four. It was down a little bit more at 2048. Just holding its own right there. The dollar, we're going to be watching the dollar here. The dollar is up eight cents at 102.22, uh, eight ticks, I should say. And let's look at the bonds. Bonds are at this particular point up 10, 30 seconds. The so yields are coming down a little bit. That helps the market. Uh, almost 124 on the bonds. And it's a good crude oil. We're looking at this very closely. I like the way that it held the 200 period. I'll be talking about this in my webinar as well. How the 200 period moving average is so important. Look how it held the 200 period moving average in a continuous contract last week. And now it's up uh, $1.16 at 75.09, coming off the 67 area low. And we were watching to see if there's some follow through by the end of the day here. Yeah, this is a good turnaround. What does it mean for crude oil? What does it mean for the, the different uh, uh, currencies, etc.? cetera, uh, in this particular market where we are today? And we'll talk about that for my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in the next uh, few minutes. Hope you can stay. Check out my open call daily newsletter and the webinar.